commentator, Clive Tilsley. It's hardly a homecoming. Dean Saunders was only here 14 months. 14 months in which he scored more Liverpool goals than anyone else and picked up his first major winner's medal at the cup final. He was hardly a flop either. Graham Sunez felt he simply didn't click with Ian Rush, but he's clicked all right with Dalian Atkinson, who's back alongside Saunders today, injury restricting him to just an hour's football in the last five weeks. Two other items snapped up by Villa in the Sunez sales there, Steve Staunton and Ray Houghton. A new year has brought a new batch of injuries for Liverpool to puzzle over. Steve Nicholl, Mark Wright and Ian Rush the latest, rushing the final five minutes of the final training session yesterday. Three changes in all then. Paul Stewart, Jamie Redknapp and Ronnie Rosenthal all return. John Barnes is the captain. Keith Hackett at the controls should help keep things moving along. A visit to Anfield, always a yardstick for an emerging team. And just what Aston Villa emerged from this match with may tell us more about what they emerge, may emerge from the season with. A season which has already been eventful for Dean Saunders. Fortunately here for Dalian Atkinson, and look at the pace. They've only had the finish. It maybe came a little bit too soon into his return. Just three minutes gone. Bound to be a wee bit ring rusty, although it was on target, and Hooper got a foot to it. Staunton with a corner. It's come through for Gary Parker. Houghton. Seen off by Barnes. Miller must make do with the throw. It's the first time he's ever captained a team at professional level, John Barnes. And he's taken responsibility very seriously with a spell of defending. This is Houghton. There's an offside flag against Dwight York. Four marks to Mike Cooper. Rosenthal all alone for now. You want to beat? McManaman is the lone Liverpool player forward. Good defending by Staunton. Stewart. Starting to knit things together in a promising way for Liverpool, Paul Stewart. This is Michael Thomas, and that's Mike Manaman. It'll come for Barnes, and he missed two. Rob Jones, John Barnes. Liverpool starting to monopolise possession. It's Jones again. Mike Manaman. Kept in, got away from Houghton. In towards Rosenthal, headed by Teal. Redknapp missed his kick. Stewart. Spink has come to claim it. Won't be all that happy with all that's been happening in front of him during the last few minutes. Liverpool starting to examine the Villa defence. Atkinson found Saunders. Who found Atkinson? Well, he's trying to conduct a goal of the season competition all of his own, is Dalian Atkinson. He's already picked up two monthly awards. He's such an exciting player. And when he gets a side of goal, he just pulls the trigger back and fires, and that was fired against the post. Marsh. Thomas. into an advanced position and here he is the flag stayed down Matt Manaman arriving late in the day and Sean Till very bravely just watched it go by Redknapp it was who 
spotted McManaman tiptoeing in behind Aston Villa and Sean Teal staring into the cop just allowed the ball to roll past him to safety for Aston Villa nothing a defender hates more than looking at his own goal what do I do? I'll leave it there goes Mike Marsh it wasn't a bad pass was it? he's got away from Staunton Marsh it towards Thomas Barnes maybe yes just when it had seemed that a chance had passed John Barnes struck the ball into the core of the net it's his first league goal since the opening day of last season there have been a lot of heartaches for John Barnes in between times but he's back alright the chance seemed to have gone there he didn't have it under control he had to turn bang goal surprise surprise it's come three minutes before the break and John Barnes pulls another rabbit out of the hat in the Liverpool cause it was shielded from Spinksview Hampton Saunders Liverpool have regrouped Atkinson there's still a bit of a passenger and he's ready to come off his manager won't thank him for turning his back on the player having said that Barnes to McManaman Jones steaming forward in support Barnes taking over now what's he got to be sleeved this time <laughs> Spring had to hold on Rosenthal was closing in John Barnes buzzing and he won't be able to get enough of the ball now and Liverpool won't be able to get it to him quickly enough Saunders doing well this is Houghton Stewart's doing some good protection work on behalf of his defenders Picnic penalised stoppage time at the end of the first half it's Parker with a free kick Teal going in there it's come out as far as Richardson Houghton slice there were people rushing him he probably didn't have much of a view of the target but it was uh, a left to righter Liverpool pressed and pressed and they got their reward a sumptuous goal by John Barnes three minutes before the break and a great tonic for Liverpool beset by injuries again today faced by one of the informed teams in the country they've managed to carve out a halfway advantage 1-0 Both teams face slippery FA Cup replays next Wednesday. It's that time of the year when your whole season can slip through your fingers if you're not careful. And Aston Villa's salvage operation here must continue without the services of Dalian Atkinson, who's uh, suffered a recurrence of his groin injury. And number 14, Steve Froggart, is on in his place. Made quite an impact as a substitute in the FA Cup quarter-final, which Liverpool won here last season between the two sides Steve Stallings clearance here is Froggett who's an out and out left sided player of some promise he's only 19 Barnes who's realised his promise today already Thomas Rosenthal Michael Thomas again strong in towards McManaman always stretching couldn't quite hook it back into the danger area. Michael Thomas playing in an unnatural position out on the right-hand side. Has been uh, quite an effective force for Liverpool today. They've had to make do in one or two areas of the field. The players playing out of position. Ron Atkinson will be looking for more teeth from Aston Villa up front in the second half. 
getting glimpses of what they can do on the break, but they haven't caused Picnic and, prob uh, Picnic and Company any problems for any concerted period of time. Houghton. Richardson. This is Parker. It's in. Great strike by Gary Parker. Nine minutes of the second half gone. Villa on terms. Something out of nothing. Clearance turned by Richardson into the path of Parker. And it just set up for him to volley. And what a good volley it was. Who for a spectator? Here's Saunders. Now Parker. Game really opening up. D Saunders. Came off the chest of Hooper. Plenty of fizz behind that one from Saunders. He wouldn't mind a goal at the cop end today. And he went for there as he believed he was going to get one. Hooper got everything behind it. Close enough to John Barnes to make it difficult for him. Saunders, he's got away from Pitney. This is the big chance for Dean Saunders, and he's taken it. Wouldn't you just know it? It had to be Dino. Villa in front. 19 minutes of the second half gone. And fate says that Dean Saunders returns to Anfield with a goal at the cop end. Torben Picknick, who's been haunted by Saunders, scored twice against him on his debut. And scored again. And Aston Villa go in front. Rosenthal. Barnes looking for the instant reply. Nigel Spink denies him. The Liverpool looking to their captain for a lift. And Barnes almost providing it. Critical stage in the match. Bjornaby with a corner. Forced away by two. Jamie Redknapp. Ronnie Rosenthal, Redknapp, that's fancy. Thomas, McManaman, again, good handling by Spink. Tall man, quickly down, and most important of all, held on. Here goes Dean Saunders once more. Rob Jones, though. On for Rosenthal, onside. Barnes is to his right, and McGrath got in a great challenge. Well, Paul McGrath's Air International teammate David O'Leary says, think what he'd be like if he trained. His dodgy knees almost forbid him from doing any running during the week. But McGrath's defending is so classy. Stewart, then by Picnic. Thomas finding red now. Matt Manaman. Promising Liverpool move. Stewart. Jones. Walters. Dean Saunders it was who was back there doing some chasing up on behalf of his defenders. a bit of hard work, Dean Saunders. Stick Bjornaby will take the free kick. Which comes through for Paul Stewart! Well, Paul Stewart isn't quite sure how the ball found her way through to him. Slipped and slithered through the defenders. And it was a rather sort of tentative prod in the end.
Saunders. Stewart, he won't give it up. Mike Manaman. We're now playing added time. He's won a corner kick off Sean Till. Stick Bjornovi will deliver. It's in towards Barnes. But he was crowded out. It's another corner. Another last chance. 30 seconds over the 90. McGrath with the important head. Bjornovi miscuring. And Dean Saunders who else with the clearance. Back hit by Marsh. Away by McGrath. And there's an offside flag up. Aston Villa have a relieving free kick. And they're moving closer and closer to their goal for the day. Another big test of their championship credentials. A win at Anfield never looks bad on your CV. Villa's first here for over 15 years and secured by Dean Saunders, Liverpool's leading scorer last season. He's 11th for Aston Villa, settling the game. It's Liverpool's ninth league defeat of the season. Too many maybe for anybody with real...